Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to take a look at Adam's handheld mini air cannon. This is a handheld um, air dryer, forced air dryer that's aimed towards the weekend warrior, driveway detailer, enthusiast. Really anybody can use it. Powered by 1200 watts, the little air cannon forces 90 CFM of heated air at a rather impressive 19,000 FPM. Out of the box you get the unit itself. You have two attachments, a cone shape to really pinpoint the air, and a, another attachment that's like in the shape of a crevice tool for vacuum cleaners. And attached is the 20 foot cord with a Velcro wrap to keep everything nice and tidy when in storage. Dimensions of the unit 10 inches tall, 7.5 inches wide, including the handle that will help you with storage and picking a unit that would fit in tight areas, maybe a narrow garage where a leaf blower or a metro vac blower is not an option. The two attachments, one will be in the shape of a cone to pinpoint that blasted air. The other will be in the shape of, say, a crevice tool that's attached to a vac. I'm going to show you how that comes in handy for me. The power button is on the top corner of the handle. Switch it on and you can feel the torque immediately. This little thing has some power. With the crevice-like extension attached, you're looking at about 11 inches. That's what you have to play with. Nimble and lightweight, which makes my shoulders happy. It's just a little over two and a half pounds. In comparison to other tools in its category, the leaf blower towers over the mini air cannon and is a bit heavier. And next to the Metro Vac, which you would have to pull around your vehicle with a hose attached, it's a completely different tool. The Mini Air Cannon is only a fraction of the weight of a Metro or a Vac and Dry. You can use it in many different ways. I'll demonstrate how I utilize it and put it to work. When you're doing interiors, if you want to do a quick dust first to blow all of those loose debris or contaminants to the floor to be vacked up later. And I always keep that crevice tool attached to get in between seats and into tight areas. Blow all of that junk forward up onto the mat to be vacked up later. We also keep it within arm's length during a correction in between each panel. We'll use it to blow correction dust and compound dust away from all the corners and crevices. Just like the interior, it's a great way to get a, an engine compartment detail started blowing away all leaves and loose debris. Let's take it outside and demonstrate its intended use. Plug it into an outlet and we're not going to baby the machine and use it on a little Mazda Miata. We have a crew-sized uh, crew cab pickup truck. And I want to walk around and show you guys, it just barely gets you around. Another 10 feet, you could use it on just about anything. But with a 20-foot cord, uh, you can comf comfortably get around a small sports car or mid-size sedan. We can get around this thing with a little finagling. I want to show you just um, how the unit, the air, the mini air cannon, evacuates water from the surface of your car. And of course, it's always going to be easiest if the surface is protected, especially with a ceramic coating.
The mini air cannon comes in handy in these areas, tight spaces in and around the grill, around your doorknobs, mirrors where the water just keeps dripping down, and also wheels, especially with the intricate designs. Let's demonstrate the speed in which we can get around this rather large vehicle and dry it thoroughly. There's the start time. We'll time it and I can get around this vehicle with a leaf blower in about five to seven minutes. Let's see how long it takes with the mini air cannon. Again, not designed with this in mind, uh, maybe a smaller vehicle or pinpointed towards uh, the areas in grills and in and around mirrors and door jams, areas like that. But you can dry the entire vehicle with the heated air, the heated filtered air that comes out from this unit. Finishing up, we're at 11, approaching 12 minutes. If you're an enthusiast, a driveway detailer, if you have limited space in your garage where you need something compact uh, and light, if you have problems with your shoulders, this definitely does have a place within the category of drying your vehicle. As you can see here, took some time, but we got the job done. The shop manager, well, she doesn't like any method of drying unless it's nice and quiet with drying towels. And if you drop this thing on its side with the power on, you might have to chase after it. It does have a little bit of torque. If you are realistic with your expectations, this can fit right in there with a leaf blower or a shop blower or a metro type unit. Uh, price as well. Comparable units anywhere from $89 to $114.